But now speaking to that, you used the idiom of the cart before the horse a little earlier. And to use an associated idiom, hasn't the horse already bolted? If you look back to last year and al-Bashir being in the country, I believe that with the ICC, you don't necessarily have to go to The Hague. So it wouldn't even necessarily have been um, important to extradite al-Bashir. Haven't we already failed? Well, we have failed because we, you know, we, we fundamentally failed to, uh, to adhere to our international responsibilities as well as to our domestic responsibilities. Because let us not forget that the implementation statute of the uh, Rome Treaty is, is it now a domestic law in South Africa. So we flouted our international obligations and we flouted the, our own laws passed by our own parliament last year. And this is a matter that is still, as I said just now, before the Constitutional Court. Government is appealing the Supreme Court decision to the Constitutional Court although I understand that Minister Masuta has indicated on Friday that government will withdraw its appeal. Yes. I'm not sure that government is able to because my understanding is that all parties to the case would have to agree before that withdrawal can take place. So this seems to be a tactic on behalf of government to avoid another defeat in the Constitutional Court, okay. and which would uh, render that South African uh, government action in, in, or inaction in failing to take action against President al-Bashir was illegal and that government officials who were complicit in that decision should be held criminally responsible for the part they played in allowing al-Bashir to flee South Africa. Yes.